all right so today we are doing a collective reading all zodiac signs their current feelings for you the person on your mind and then a peek into your feelings for them currently for the cross watchers okay so keep in mind this is a general reading just like all the time uh be easy all right it's not that serious um <laughs> If you would like to book a personal reading with me, a link to my website is in the description box below. I am going to try to post more often. I know that it, um, just business is very, very busy, so I, but I'll, I'll make an effort. I know a lot of you mentioned that, so thank you. Your patience is always appreciated. Love you guys. And uh, not, 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 not the shit talkers, but that is what it is. <laughs> okay, so... Now, uh, the only thing in the pre-shuffle that I was really picking up on for the collective was that a lot of you aren't finished with something. In your mind, a lot of you, you know, some of you may still be actively married or in a relationship where there's a lot of burden and disappointment, but I'm feeling like energetically there is definitely something that, that most of the collective is not finished with. Regardless of if there's understood, I feel like something came out in regards to this, or it will, I don't know. Whatever it was, could probably disappointing the, the energy. All right, so let's go ahead and start off with Leo. Let's see. Leo, universe. Connect me with the energy of Leo. Sun, Venus. Show me the person on their mind, their current feel, the current feelings for that they have for Leo. What are their current feelings for Leo? The person on their mind. Their current feelings for Leo, please. <laughs> well, okay. So seven of wands. Um. They may not trust you. I keep hearing that. I don't know if this is their own insecurities or if you, you know if there's a reason behind this because this individual's energy is very guarded. Uh, they may feel as if they have to like work to stay on top with you, or you know, I'm just getting an energy of like having to. Like, if you get a lot of attention, they may feel like they, they're very defensive about this. In fact, this person knows that you get a lot of other attention. Whether or not they see this, they may, but I'm just feeling that very strongly. <laughs> like, they don't trust, they feel defensive. Very on guard, this individual is. Uh, okay, so how else are they feeling? Show me a little bit more about... This person's current feelings for Leo. Six of Swords and Five, five of Pentacles. This person might, I'm, I'm getting some sort of emphasis about money or whatever your, something about you. They're, they're seeing you move forward out of a moment of, I want to say dryness. So this could be financial or loneliness. I'm just seeing like they're viewing you moving out of this or moving away from this. Now, but they also might feel like they don't get enough attention from you. I don't know if this has anything to do with distance or travel or, um, but they could be sort of like, this person might not be focusing as much on you right now or in the coming, because I see them looking at something else. The Six of Swords, they're moving away from this feeling so they might be again feeling a little bit 
neglected by you or for some reason or dissatisfied in, in some sort of way. <laughs> I don't know. Interesting energy right now. I don't know why they... Alrighty. All right. So let's go ahead and see how, how, do you, how does Leo feel about this person? <laughs> how does Leo currently feel about this person? They're just, they're not coming across very warm right now. You know, I don't see them trying to speak. I don't see them, I just see them kind of, for whatever reason. All right. How does Leo currently feel about this person? the king of wands so there you know um you're very strong in your energy so i think you are attracted to them you might be like going and doing other things though i'm getting there could be relevance between travel or maybe a car i'm not exactly sure why i keep but I, there feels like there's a lot of movement surrounding this situation for some reason, um, at least for one individual here. Okay, so then, yeah, I think y you don't feel as intense as this person. Again, there is attraction. You might think that they're a little bit zesty. But Nine of Swords, there's stress and worry here for some, for some reason in regards to this individual. There's Five of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So someone, someone may know the other person is disappointed. Yeah, I don't know. This, this, the energy isn't really the most. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm getting. That's what I'm getting for you, Leo. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and switch over to Virgo. Not the warmest. Sorry. I mean, I don't know. It is what it is. All right, let's see, Virgo, Virgo. There might be something that you want to go towards. I don't know if you're... I see you looking at something, Virgo, but are you going to go... <laughs> stuttering. <laughs> go for it or no? I mean, are you going to... Maybe you're stuttering. Okay, so, hesitation. All right, universe, connect me with the energy for Virgo, and Rising, and Venus. The person on Virgo's mind, their current feelings for Virgo, please. Their current feelings for Virgo. Current feelings for Virgo. Okay, well... I'm going to pull another card, but the first card that came out was the devil. So, um, they feel very energetically pulled to you. This person may have tried to move on from you, or you may have tried to move on from this person at some point, because this, I'm focusing on this man here. He's looking at a different direction, but he's still very much tied to the devil. Um, but they, it's like, I, I am, I'm getting like, they can't shake you. Um, this connect, they feel like this connection is almost 
like they can be swallowed up in it. They may also feel like you fixate or there's something kind of draining about you. You, you may have a tendency or a habit that they are that uh, they're very aware of or something like that I don't know all right so the nine of wands and the ace of wands so a lot of sexual attraction a lot of pull here with that devil and that ace of wands energy this person is very there's a lot of chemistry now um darn it I, I was I, I was there was something in particular that I wanted to say about that uh maybe it'll come back to me okay but so the nine of wands energy is very is very this is their energy very strongly it, it's like they want an opportunity with you they have that sexual draw that they see this but there's something defensive Someone may have been burned by the other person before. They may have felt, because I'm, I'm feeling like even though they can't get, they cannot get away <laughs> is what I feel like. They don't want to get away from it. They're very focused on it. You know, um, this is not a new person. At least for most of you, it's not. If it is, this individual is is guarded because they come with a lot of baggage. They've been burned a lot before. But for most of you, I feel like this wanting to reignite something, not being able to leave behind any kind of energy. Oh, I know what, and that's because that was bothering me. A lot of you, this could have been like predominantly sexual focused when you first met this person, or it is, or it will be, however this is, you know, but yeah, I'm getting a lot of emphasis on sexual here. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and see, how does Virgo feel about this person? How does Virgo currently feel about this person? like um, they may have hurt your feelings or you know I'm getting that someone had hurt has hurt the other person's feelings before alrighty how does Virgo currently feel about this person They're, whoever they are, they speak pretty directly with the Knight of Swords. Um, they may not think a lot of times before they speak. I don't feel as if they're like the softest at the tongue either. I've got this energy before with um, with you, Virgo. This, this, this is not a new person, it seems. Okay, how does, this, how does Virgo feel about this person? This person has experienced some sort of loss, um, you know, probably recently. I'm getting loss here. There could have even been like a break or an ending between you and this individual as well. But the, the sun card, I feel as if like um, this person's kind of can be silly and lighthearted in nature because there is happiness. I, you know, this is an interesting combination with the Knight of Swords and the Sun card. I'm really feeling a lot of like 
you know, they can be harsh at the tongue, but they can be kind of lighthearted <laughs> at the same time. Um, now, this is a lot going on. I have the Queen of Cups, Five of Pentacles, the Lovers, Seven of Pentacles, and the King of Cups. So, there is a lot of deep emotion here, because this is a, a true pair. You know, the King and Queen of Cups. So I feel as if there's a there's there's love. You have love for this person. But the feminine energy, regardless of who that is, could feel really kind of not appreciated or not very nourished in this connection. Five of Pentacles in the lovers card. So a strong connection, but there's not a lot of fulfillment here for this Queen of Cups. You know, um, she may not get the communication that she wants, or, you know, whoever takes on that feminine energy. Seven of Pentacles and the King of Cups. I'm feeling like building and patience coming from the masculine energy, waiting, um, but there is a big separation here. So finances or some sort of duty to something else could be in the way. Because I, 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 there's so much space here between this Queen and King of Cups. So you're aware of that. It's interesting because there's a lot of thoughts and um, information on your side. This other, per this other person, you know, it's a little bit more cut and dry. They feel this strong pull, but they're very guarded about it. Um, you are all, you know, there's a lot of detail that you're bringing me, Virgo. All right, so that's what I have for you. But, you you know, you do feel the same about each other. That That's, you do. But there's some focus is elsewhere or something like that is, is what I'm feeling. All right, let's switch over to Libra. Universe, you know the energy of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The person on Libra's mind, what are their current feelings for Libra? First, they might think that the that the something's in your hands. And I'm feeling like for some reason they feel like you have the power here, whether you agree or not. <laughs> How does this person currently feel about Libra, please? How does this person currently feel about Libra? All right, well, Libra, the star card, first thing that came out, they know that they want you, um, you stand out above the rest. Eight of Swords. They think about you all the time. You could be far away from them or not accessible in some sort of way. I'm, I'm feeling like there's there's some sort of blockage energetically, probably. Nine of Wands and the Devil card is at the bottom of the deck. It's, it's really taking my energy away. They may feel as if you're involved or dealing with something that uh, you're not like giving up on. You seem to be very involved in this or that's how they perceive it. Uh, stuck, you're stuck to something other than this person. Could be family, I, I don't know what, I don't know what it is, but they, they feel like you're involved in something else or you're like, but it doesn't, it, the energy feels heavy. All right, so the strength and the eight of cups If this person hasn't walked away from you, they will. But just know, Libra, and, and they will because of this energy. Whatever it is that you're dealing with, that you're, you know, there's something that, again, they don't, they don't want to give up on this. They don't want it. They don't want to. The strength, they, they're resisting this Eight of Cups, not wanting to walk away. 
Um, but eventually, they will, or they did, Eight of Cups. But just know that it, it's, they're sad to do so, you know. It's definitely not something, because again, with that star card energy, you are what they want. And they still think about you. They do, you know, this could be predictive or not, but yeah, that's pretty much what I'm getting. They want you, they think about you, but they will walk away. They might wait a while just to see with that strength card, because they, you know, strength Leo energy doesn't give up very easily, but yeah, they will eventually. All right, how does Libra currently feel about this person? If they have to. I don't know why I, you know, I feel the need to say that. How does Libra currently feel about this person? It's kind of sad. I don't know. <laughs> Libra, how do you feel about this person, Libra? Well, well, four of pentacles, queen of swords. Well, whatever you are feeling, you're not showing it. You're holding it back. You feel pretty closed off. Queen of Swords energy, which is your energy, but I also feel as if you, this person could be kind of mirroring you. Or they will be. They're gonna, they're, they feel a little bit colder. How else do you feel, Libra? How else do you feel about this person, Libra? One more card. Well, let's see, that's, this is what I'm... Okay, Page of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. See, that's exactly what I was feeling. It's like there's little glimmers on both sides, that star card on their side, and then the Page of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. You know, you, you do see a lot of potential for this person, with this person long term. But... You don't express that. You hold that back. It's like there is interest here. There's there's something, but you, I don't know. You, you feel like you're pretty closed off to their energy. Yeah, that's all I'm getting there. All right, well, we tried, Libra. We tried. Go ahead and switch to Scorpio. Universe connect me with the energy of Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Show me the person on Scorpio's mind. What is their current feelings for Scorpio? Person on Scorpio's mind. What are their current feelings for Scorpio, please? Alrighty, well. Queen of Cups. So, your energy here, Queen of Cups. So, they... they but also, that coming out first, they have a lot of deep feelings for you. This person loves you. Whoever this is that, that you're thinking about, they do love you. Two of Swords. But, you know, it's interesting because I'm feeling like they're not really, they don't take, they're not taking action in this current time to come towards you to really say, um, I hesitate to say that, but some of you, they might not be like saying as much, or they weren't, or I don't know. Um... There's a lack of clarity. It's like a, a, they know how they feel. But with that two of swords, how do they come towards you? And then also, princess of pentacles and the two of swords. Some of you, they may not know what to say or how to say something is what I'm feeling, especially for those of you that there might need to be like some sort of
conversation or apology. That won't apply to everyone, but like I'm feeling this strong energy of really not knowing how to say something. Four of Cups. You know, this individual may have another energy around them with this Queen of Wands here that's kind of dominant. I'm feeling dominance. Whoever this person is, but they're so not checked in when they're around this individual, whoever it is. They may have you on their mind. I'm feeling like this individual, whoever it is, they, they're a little bit depressed or they may have bouts of feeling blue. You know, they have a burden of the mind, but they do have this dominant energy by them. Two queens so close together. But they're so not interested in this. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know who this queen is. I don't know who, I mean, whether it's masculine or feminine. Like, they're totally checked out wherever they are. But they're not taking action to come towards you. I don't know. Okay, interesting. So how does Scorpio feel about this person, please? Some of you for, may... I don't know. I, I'm getting it like... Uh, for some of you, this person may have, like, left you hanging or sort of left you waiting at. Mm, yeah. And that's significant to your feelings towards this individual. How does Scorpio feel about this person? <laughs> you both, okay, so. Two of Swords. <laughs> See, same thing. Two of Swords, Two of Swords. You don't know how to move this forward either. But I, I feel as if, you know, it's interesting that, but I, I'm getting very strongly that you may feel like it's not your job to move it forward. Because I, I from this energy, so it's interesting, this Two of Swords, there's a little bit more melancholy, the blues and the way that she's looking down. I'm feeling a little bit more like melancholy kind of disappointment here. This Two of Swords feels very... Stubborn, or, or, or not stubborn, but like fixed, set. Like you, you're not meant to, it's not your move. This is like, if this were chess, you feel that this is, it's not your move to make. So you don't really see how to move this forward. It's sort of like a stalemate situation at this current time, for whatever reason. Six of Wands. I think you think this person has a lot of pride. They want to be successful. They're competitive. Could be a little jealous as well, too. I'm picking that up. What else? How else do you feel about this individual? But you also recognize very much that they're not making a move towards you. Could be out of pride or they have something else that they have to conquer first could be financial this person may feel that way they may need to go do something for financial or, or something along these lines ten of pentacles so it's interesting because i don't feel as if you're getting a lot of your emotions wrapped up in this could be because you're dealing with some sort of ending or something has ended between you and this individual before regardless of how it resonates um, I'm not, you're not very emotionally invested in this. You, you feel hesitant to move forward, to take action, but six of wands and ten of pentacles. So you do feel like, ideally I think you would want success in, and, and growth with this person, you know, um, long term, ideally. But there's something that doesn't move forward or didn't move forward in regards to that. You may also, there's some, some significance about money. This person may 
receive large chunks of money at a time or they focus a lot on money. I don't know. I'm family money, family business. Um, I don't know. Yeah, so that's pretty much what I'm what I'm getting. Not the most romantic vibe, unfortunately. Gosh, everybody's energy is a little bit... I don't know. All right, let's go ahead and switch over to Sagittarius. Universe, connect me with the energy of Sagittarius. Please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The person on Sagittarius' mind, their current feelings for Sagittarius. What are their current feelings for Sagittarius? I think they think you look good in here. Okay, cool. Their current feelings for Sagittarius. Trust someone that is around you, or there's something defensive. They, there's a defensive energy. They could be feeling defensive towards you. I'm getting like something about trust or defense. Like I don't know. It could be something you said. I'm not sure. Three of Wands, Nine of Cups, and the Magician. They actually want to make this happen with you. Nine of Cups. I, I you know. This energy is actually much better than than a lot of the other ones. Um, they could be waiting, though. There's something about their energy. They're waiting. They're not taking action towards you. They they may feel like you're also waiting. But Nine of Cups, waiting for something that they want. They may also see you as someone who creates I'm getting like feel good things, you know, you're, you're someone that likes to please or you like to be pleased, you know, this could be like food, things you eat, I'm, I'm just sensing something about your like taste and the way that you, the magician, the magician implements things and with that nine of cups there, um, there's something about like the way you do things. I don't know. You you also please them. You have the ability to please them. Magician Nine of Cups. So yeah, it's they. I feel as if yeah. I mean their energy is pretty good, but they're. They might be coming towards you in the next couple months. Yeah. But I'm feeling that they're waiting for now. Waiting to make a move or maybe waiting for action from you. With that magician, see, they... The magician is very... To me, I always get a very action-oriented, very making things happen because that's what he's a manifester, so... You might be able to make something happen for them. This person might want something from you. And they feel like you're the person that can do it. <laughs> Alright, so how does Sagittarius currently feel about this person? Yeah, they definitely want something from you. currently feel about this person, please. Well, okay, for some of you, this person might be involved in something else, married, I don't know, or has been married before. Um, that you, you view this individual, they have something that plagues them in regards to family or marriage or home life. 
I also, I also want to say that they will be returning. With the shadow side here, he's looking behind his back. Something is coming back. Page of Swords. They watch you. You may feel like they watch you. They do. King of Cups, King of Wands. So... Yeah, see, there's, there's two kings here. They, they're a little bit hot and cold. They're a little, they're a little hot and cold, but I, again, I think this individual is dealing with something else or someone else or something to do with family. I don't know. You're very aware of this, though. It wouldn't be like a secret, you know. They could be a water sign. doesn't have to be water or another fire. You know, some of you may have a couple people that you're dealing with, one that you connect with more emotionally, the other one you're more physically attracted to. So that'll apply for some of you. But yeah, um, I think there is sexual and mental interest, you know, again, on your side with whoever you're dealing with, if you're dealing with one or a few, but there is some sort of pulling, there is some something there that the communication could be a little bit weird. I don't know why I feel the need to say that, but there's something like not quite eh, with this com communication with this person. At least you feel that way. All right, let's go ahead and switch to Capricorn. Tell me with the energy for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The person on Capricorn's mind. Show me this person's current feelings for Capricorn. Current feelings for Capricorn, please. Someone may have blew the other person's mind. I don't know why I keep hearing that. I'm like, you blew my mind. That's what I keep hearing. I don't know. All right. How does this person currently feel about Capricorn? Too many cards. Okay, so King of Cups. Some of you may be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but it does not have to be, of course. Uh, this person, I feel like, feels deeply for you. It's interesting, though, because I'm getting something, like, almost platonic about it. I don't know. Um, like, this person may care. Some of you, this may feel like I care about you so deeply, like a friend. Now, I am feeling like there may be a varying level of sexual interest between the two of you, and I don't know on whose side. Ace of Wands. So there is that potential there, but, but someone may kind of like walk away from opportunities to be intimate. Um, five of Pentacles. Yeah, because see, I'm seeing like sexual interest, but there could be, in maybe in this current moment, some sort of dryness sexually between you and this individual in some sort of way. Um... There could be, like, uh, for those of you that are not, yeah, I don't know, I'm just, someone may walk away from an opportunity as well, you know, whether that be, I, I'm feeling like, and I don't know if this is outside of you and this individual or what this is, but I'm, Someone may like make a sexual offer or kind of like present an opportunity and the other person walks away from it. I don't know, you know, and, and for some of you this could be between you and this individual or that could be something going on. This person may be having a sexual opportunity presented to them that they turn down <laughs> Yeah, I don't know hmm. if that makes any sense at all. But yeah, I'm not, I'm feeling some like dryness here for whatever reason. 
Now, if this isn't sexual, it could just be like in communication, in zest. Something feels a little bit mm, right now. But there are, with that King of Cups, like deep emotion, especially platonically, friendship-wise, um, caring. This person cares a lot about you. All right, so... currently feel about this person, please. Alright. You know, you may feel like something about them almost is calming or brings some sort of balance to, you know, your temper. Or something about you that, or someone here. I'm getting like if someone brings balance, and I feel as if it's this person brings balance to you if you have a temper or something along these lines. Now, a lot of fire energy here with the temperance and then the king of wands. They may or may not be a fire sign. It does not have to be. I think that you're very attracted to this person. You might also be very protective, possessive over this individual. Three of Cups. Someone may be surrounded by a lot of different people. This person may work in a public environment of some sort. I see. I, I see that you. You know. You like to be around them. Your. You know. Your energy. You feel pretty good about this individual. You may feel as if they keep a good balance. And they have their shit together. This is not somebody. Uh, and they go for things, you know, they, this, this is not somebody that doesn't have a handle. They've learned with this temperance, she, she's learned exactly how to do what it is that she needs to do. And um, regardless if it's masculine or feminine, but there you go. All right, um, let's go ahead and switch over to Aquarius. That's pretty much all I have to say about that. All right. Make sure the energy of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Show me the person on Aquarius' mind. How does this person currently feel about Aquarius? How does this person currently feel about Aquarius? change your mind a lot or I'm getting like repeating things I'm getting changing your mind or you could be in a place where you're unsure about what you want to do about something in particular because um, I feel as if like they may find you just a little bit confusing for some reason <laughs> ace of cups and eight of swords though they think about you so they, they care about you. This person does have emotions and feelings for you. You're on their mind. Seven of Pentacles. And they may, you know, there could be a lot of patience or waiting that's involved with you and this individual. Because I'm getting like time here. Seven of Pentacles is a lot of time planting, things, waiting for things to grow. It's not a fast-moving card. So, yeah, but the Ace of Cups, again, that's the main thing. It's like they do care about you. They do think about you a lot, but there's, I feel like they find you confusing in some sort of way, and they may be waiting for something to, like, pan out or something to develop or grow. I, I don't, you know. So how does Aquarius feel about this person? How does Aquarius feel about this person? You know, there could be something about them like that you, you, you know, you may sense like some sort of sneakiness. 
Like you, you may feel like they do something secretly or like, I don't know if this is bad or they're just kind of, I don't know. Seem like a, that their nature is a little bit sneaky or they're kind of quiet or <laughs> all right how does Aquarius feel about this person please currently well ten of swords um This person could be feeling pretty defeated or they feel like stabbed in the back. They've been stabbed in the back a lot. They've been used. Um, you may come to find this out or you may, you know, but there was something that ended for this individual. But look here, see, you know, and things that may have kind of, ended or changed or transformed between the two of you. For some of you, this could be a neuter person, so that wouldn't apply. But uh, Ace of Cups and Ten of Swords. So you both have the Ace of Cups on each other's side. So look at this. Guess what, Aquarius and Cross Watcher? You both like each other. You know, but... I'm getting like a shake-up, could be, that has nothing to do with you or, you know, whoever has this shake-up, that's what I'm feeling, like loss, this person, it's probably this person that has experienced some sort of loss. How else does Aquarius feel? King of Swords, there you are in your energy. You're very certain. You're very aware of how you feel. Page of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. I'm feeling like, it, you know, expressing sadness. For some of you, this may be apologies. You know, or speaking about, getting like speaking, having a down-to-earth conversation. And one could be the feminine energy. feels kind of sad and, and, and melancholy here. But yeah, you care very much about this individual. You may kind of be a little bit more gentle with them or be gentle with them in the future. I'm getting like gentleness or, or gentleness coming from the masculine towards the feminine. The feminine feels disappointed. It feels, I don't know, sad about something going on in the feminine's life. Again, I don't think, I think it's separate. So however this energy applies for you okay so let's go ahead and switch over to pisces pisces so let's connect with the angel of pisces sun moon rising and venus the person on pisces mind show me how this person currently feels about pisces Okay, or you're stuck, Pisces? I don't know. I'm getting like a stuck energy. Okay, so how does this person currently feel about Pisces? Okay, well, Queen of Pentacles. like they think you're easy to be around. Queen of Pentacles, King of Cups. You're easy to be around. You're easy to talk to. There could be something that you're working on or developing and they really see you putting effort into that. They may also think that you like plants <laughs> or nature. I don't know why. Or being out in the nature. There's something about like the outdoors that's relevant to you, Pisces. 
animals, plants, like they think of that when they think of you earthy. They're getting some sort of earthiness from you, even though you're a water sign. See, you're an earthy water sign, Pisces. But I, I you know, holistic. There's just something very um, nurturing coming across about you. So your energy feels nice. Um, I also feel as if with this King of Cups energy, they're in love with you. They feel very deeply for you. They could be another water sign or potentially an earth sign. That's the energies that are coming out. Does not have to be, of course. Don't lose your mind. Okay, what, <laughs> what else for their feelings for Pisces? With this world card, something may be... You might not be close to them. Or there's some sort of cycle that's changing in this connection, the world and the lovers card. But again, they very much and, and I feel as if like they think about wanting to be around you. They want to connect with you. They want to be close to you. This person wants to kiss you. They want to touch you be around you. I, I feel, I'm feeling like a lot of gentleness. What was I just, who was I just saying this about? Like the gentle, I don't know. Um, this person may have potentially been in a, in a relationship or a marriage before where there was a lot of heartbreak. And uh, yeah, that, that very much, yeah, and, and whatever it was, it ended. And it very much has affected this individual, but they do feel deeply for you. Okay, well, that's not too bad. All right, so how does Pisces feel about this person, please? How does Pisces feel about this person? I think you think they have a sharp mind. Or sharp. I don't know. How does Pisces feel about this person? Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups. Well, Pisces, you're in your energy. You feel deeply. You love them also. King and Queen of Cups here again. King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So you guys feel mutually about each other. For a lot of you, you know... Feminine, masculine, I'm going to break it down like that to whoever takes on that energy. Knight of Cups and the King of Cups. I feel as if, you know, uh, the masculine is going to make a romantic gesture towards the feminine. Okay? Regardless of whose side it is. But you do love this person here with the Queen of Cups. You're very aware of your emotions for them. Okay, so... How else does Pisces currently feel about this individual? You know, they may have someone else around them, but they're looking at you here, or they have in the past, you know? It, um, okay. Five of Cups and the Empress. There could have been some disappointment, again, that had to do with another energy. You could be feeling a little bit disappointed in regards to this other energy. For some of you, this could be like a mother figure. I, mean, I don't know, mother-in-law, actual mother, a baby's mama, who knows. I'm just getting that, like, there's a little bit of disappointment for you in regards to something else. And also, if, you know, other energy or not, the Empress symbolizes growth. So, disappointment in the way that this has grown and developed for whatever reason. King of Cups again, though, came out. So, you do feel like this person is a match to you. King and Queen of Cups. 
something may need to end in a different situation in their life, Queen of Pentacles in the world, before they're able to, or someone, you know, um, and that could be, Queen of Pentacles could be another energy, that's what sort of what I'm feeling, but it also could be something work-related that, that has put a block or distance. Okay, so, but yes, mutual love, this, you know, Definitely, definitely. Okay, so that's all I have to say about that. Let's switch over to Aries. Connect with the energy for Aries. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus, please. The person on Aries' mind, how does this person currently feel about Aries? How does this person currently feel about Aries? Okay, well, they're stressed out. They could be stressed out. Um, this won't apply to everybody, but there could be something about an earth sign that's either stressing you out or stressing them out. Nine of Swords and the King of Pentacles. Earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. If this is not an earth sign that's stressing you out um, or them, it could be you, though. Um, this individual, it's something to do with like business, work, something like a practical matter that you're stressed about or they're aware that you are. Temperance. But, you know, they do feel with this King of Pentacles and the, te the temperance that you're grounded that you know around you everything's okay they could feel like comfortable in regards to that but they are you know if i were to say anything they would be stressed in something to do with commitment like commitment that could be stressful for them or they think it is for you i don't know anything else for um how they feel about aries Mm, okay, well, I feel as if with the sun card, they might think that you're a very lively and, and can be fun to be around. Also, something about the way you take care of yourself, that's, you know, you look good here. Some of you may be having an issue with the five of swords of, like, something that you're dealing with from your past that causes, like, mental stress or something from you. Uh, this could be um, a mother figure, a, a wife, an ex-wife, a baby's mom again. Same man, kind of similar energy to what I was getting with, like, was it just Pisces? So there is some sort of um, thing from the past that they feel like you're, you're energetically stressed or stuck to. Something along this, this line. So a lot of you, if you have children, that's sort of what I mean, but of course not everybody does. So that, you know, however that feels right. But they, they're very aware of you dealing with something else, you being stressed, which makes them a little stressed about you. And also they, they, they have some worry about like trying to have a commitment with you for some reason. Aries currently feel about this person? How does Aries currently feel about this person, please? Wow, okay. Fun. I feel like similar energy because you got they got the sun so you know you guys enjoy being together there is happiness this person may be a little bit younger than you I want to feel I, I want to say that 
they can be a little bit playful and silly as well, but I am, but they're definitely like, their energy feels younger. How else does Aries feel about this person? All right, well, you might think that they're very serious. I don't think that they, so King of Swords, Justice. King of Swords is very sharp, very smart. This individual may be, uh, like have an, an intellectual job or they have a lot to talk about. They may deal with paperwork. For some of you, this could be a lawyer or somebody that practices law, they, they, but it doesn't have to be. Um, obviously, but I want to say that they, like, in general, follow the rules. Now, they can be a little bit, like, no bullshit, very straightforward with the Ace of Swords. And then the Nine of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. So it's interesting because this is the type of individual here with that King of Swords, the Justice, and the Ace of Swords. They want a commitment. They want things to be clear. They want, they don't mess around is, is, what I'm feeling, and you might be a little bit more like, and however this energy resonates, but the Nine of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles, I feel an offer that could is coming in or could come in, because Ace of Pentacles is very strong. Nine of Wands, not giving up, but there is also this sort of like energy of like, for some reason, you feel this person has like a harshness to them with all this air energy, regardless of if they're an air sign or not. Two of Pentacles. You might, they're a handful. This, this is <laughs> a little hard to handle. You could be a little bit indecisive sometimes on like, do I come towards this person? Do I not? How do I deal with them? How do I keep this balance here? Or you will feel that way. But again, very intense. You think they're very intense, but you like being with them. With the sun coming out, like, you know, there is happiness. You know, you do enjoy, and it's mutual. So I, I'm predicting that with this Ace of Pentacles, you know, there there is going to be some sort of offer or gesture. It's on your side, so maybe coming from you, but however, again, however that resonates. Because, um, yeah. All right, well, let's go ahead and switch over to, what are we doing now, Taurus? Yes. Connected with the energy for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. <laughs> my little hair, my hair on my, like floating down and tickling my face. Okay. <laughs> Universe, connect me with the energy for Taurus. The first one on Taurus is mine. Their current feelings for Taurus, please. Your current feelings for Taurus, please. Well, they want to come over. They want to come over and uh, have an opportunity with you. A lot of you, they would like to come over and have the sex, for those of you that are doing the sex. But if you're not, then but I'm just saying. Uh, Prince of Swords, Ace of Wands, and Four of Wands here. So there is a lot of... Um, they're going to take action towards you. Somebody here is going to come to the other person's house or has or, you know, I mean, um, but there is a lot of attraction. There's wanting an opportunity. And again, it feels very sexually driven, sexual to the house. This will be spontaneous. It's kind of like, oh, hey, we're, uh, thanks for not calling. Um, here we go. <laughs> so there we are. This was not planned. It will not be planned. They're thinking about this, though, whether you know it or not. Six of Pentacles and the High Priestess. They do want balance in this, but I feel as if this person may not say it. Strength card. They, they hold back. They sensed resistance from you before, or they will. You may not have given them as much attention as, the, as they wanted, the strength card and the six of pentacles so there is balance here but there's like a resistance in giving too much energy um but yeah feels pretty cut and dried here i mean you know 
this is what is standing out, you know, I'm feeling like sexual opportunity at someone's home, regardless of if you take it or not. For those of you that are not doing that, they want an opportunity to reconnect with you. They also would love an opportunity to have some sort of connection, some sort of, you know, because um, this is a connection. Four of Wands, it can be several things. It can symbolize a home, but they do want to connect. They really do. You might not give them enough attention, though, according to them. I, I also feel like they're, they don't express really what they want, or they feel like you don't. Could, could go both, actually. It could be on both sides. All right, so how does Taurus currently feel about this person? How does Taurus currently feel about this person? Okay, so, okay, Three of Cups. So you want to interact with them. You may see them out publicly or you may kind of like watch them. You may hear, you know, hear gossip, have someone keep an eye on them, or you feel like they do this to you, whichever. But I am seeing, and then the Eight of Swords. So, for those of you that are, you know, for some reason, because the Page of Swords, he's not really up close. It's not like the Knight of Swords. He's not coming in. He's a page. He's watching. He's staying back. He researches. He, he you know, it's, it's the spine card, obviously, as we all know. Um, if you don't, now you do. Um, but I'm feeling like, you know, you may have this person on your mind a lot. You may be watching them, you may be thinking about wanting to reconnect or wanting to go out and connect with them, socialize, because this is a very socializing card. How else does Taurus feel? What else? I don't know why, but I feel like you may be holding back. But how long will you hold back? I don't know, because we have the Sun card and the Knight of Wands, probably not very long. Um, there's going to be action here with this Prince of Swords on that side. Four of Wands is on both sides, so there's something significant. Somebody's coming to the other person's home. They, they're traveling. You know, someone is on route, Taurus, or will be traveling to the other person's home. This is significant. I'm getting this big time. kind of think that this individual plays around or is sort of like la -ti da or in their, in their past they used to be not the most committed individual. You may be correct because that is the energy that's coming up. I don't know. Four of Wands, Six of Pentacles. See, you both want that balance. Six of Pentacles, Four of Wands. You actually both want the same thing. That's probably why there's going to be future action here because I'm getting like resistance that has been Resistance in the past, resistance maybe right now, but that's going to break here with the Prince of Swords on th their side and the Knight of Wands on your side. I mean, who's coming to the other person first? We don't know. I mean, who knows? Could be you, though, taking action or want to. You're going to feel that drive pretty strongly. Do, do, okay, so um, let's go ahead and I don't know why I needed to do that, but Taurus is going to be someone's coming over. Mm hmm. Okay, let's go ahead and switch over to Gemini. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. The person on Gemini's mind, universe, show me the current feelings for Gemini. Their current feelings for Gemini. They could be worried about something in regards to you for some reason. Their current feelings for Gemini, please. Um, okay, so I'm getting some sort of significance about like resting or healing. Some of you may have been recovering from something, Gemini, or there's something about like resting that's significant for you. They see you moving forward out of this resting position. So that could be something, again, that you're healing, but um, also 
you know, um, for some reason your energy was resting, either personally with yourself or in regards to them. They see you moving on, moving forward out of this. But the chariot, see again, lots of forward movement. Someone may be traveling or um, traveling. Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck, the Temperance. See, there's something you they, you know you're finding a balance here. You could be feeling balance. This may have taken a while. Getting a lot of um, there's there's something significant about health or struggle or strength or not giving up in regards to you. Like you you don't give up in regards even if there's a struggle. So for the healthy or not, Ten of Wands because. There's a lot of burden that you carry. They're very aware of this. There's something that you were dealing with. It won't be health for all of you, but I am getting something very, a strong emphasis on health or, or a weighing down of the body energetically or actually physically with this Ten of Wands here. Now, I do also feel like they kind of feel like you're a lot. Um, with that Ten of Wands. There's a lot going on. Communication from the past. They may know you from the past for some reason. There could have been like a chemistry or zest. I feel as if like, you, you know, they think that you're very, with this Princess of Wands, you've got a lot of funk in the way you speak. You could be extremely creative. Actually, you are. There's something about words that stands out a lot. Your words that they, that makes you, you know, again, you're, you're unique. Your words are very <laughs> zesty, interesting, creative. I don't know, but that's what I'm feeling. But that Ten of Wands in the Chariot, you, you know, um, there is this heaviness. I don't really know what else to say in regards to that. They may not be trying to deal with it at the current moment, or they may be traveling. I don't know. I'm just feeling like this person like has other things that they're doing, and I don't know. Okay, so how does Gemini currently feel about this individual? Gemini currently feel about this person, please. Uh, they may be kind of like stuck in something, or you may also feel like they have a lack of understanding or clarity how to move. Okay, so the hangman. They're they're stuck in something, or they're trying to figure something out. They may not be seeing a sign or they may be waiting for a sign or an opportunity. They will be getting one, two of wands and ace of wands. Okay, so this, this person is going to be going towards a new opportunity. This could, be, again, have something to do with travel for some of you. Now, I do feel like you would like an opportunity with them. It's bet you know whether this is a first opportunity here with this eight of wands or another one, you you would like this. With that two of wands and the hangman, I don't know. Like the 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 energy feels a little bit stagnant though. I don't know if you know how to go towards this person. Clear by this ace of wands for how Gemini feels about this person. Knight of swords. Um, yeah, so, lovers and friends, I feel like that's a knight of cups, three of pentacles, that's knight of swords, you're going to take action towards this, or you have, you will, I think you want to, you know, you may not think this through, this could just impulsively happen, because you do want to build with them, you do want to interact, they could be an earth sign or a water sign, but you do have feelings for them here. Now, it's interesting though, I would just caution you because this individual seems like they have something going on. They, they might have a lot on their plate. Um, 
I don't know, because their energy is very burdened in regards, it burning, especially in when I'm trying to look at you. So, interesting. You may be dealing with someone that has a lot of, they might be moving. I don't know, randomly. All right, so let's go ahead and switch over to Cancer. Cancer, Cancer. Final and fabulous Cancer. <laughs> All righty. Universe connecting with the energy for Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The person on Cancer's mind. Show me, how does this person currently feel about Cancer? If something ended between you and another person, they still think about it a lot. Alright, how does this person currently feel about cancer? Well, okay, Queen of Cups, Prince of Cups. So, they're seeing very clearly, you very clearly in yourself. You're very watery. They might think that you're... Um, emotional you might be a little bit sad when you interact with them or someone here is sad I'm feeling that but um, in in the moment that they run into you one of you is sad but you know they like you though oh boy do they like you they could be another water sign potentially a fire sign here with the four of wands doesn't have to be, though, of course. I feel like I always have to say that because then somebody goes, well, I don't, there's no, okay, well, you, do you know where they have all their planets? If so, then impressive and perfect, but great. Um, okay, so the moon and the four of wands. There could be some sort of mystery in regards to, like, your home life, your connection, whether you're in a connection or not, if you're in a relationship. I'm feeling like they don't really have a whole lot of clarity in regards to, like, your steps. Um, I do feel like they may know or they will come to know that you were in a, um, a connection where there was a lot of secrets, where there were things that were withheld probably from you, but maybe, I mean, who knows, maybe you were doing, but I'm just getting, like, secrets and a connection. But yeah, Queen of Cups, Prince of Cups, they do. They like you. And 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 it's interesting because <clears throat> with this moon in the Four of Wands, it's almost like I feel like they take you more seriously and they have interest in connecting with you more than you even realize. But yeah, I am getting something about like secrets in the home or secrets done, things that are secretive done in someone's home. <laughs> You don't know what that means, but they do love you, Cancer, especially, I mean, like, tons of water everywhere with this moon, Knight of Cups, Prince of, I mean, uh, um, uh, Queen of Cups, so, but again, they feel very much, it's, it's heavy of your energy, so they're very aware of who you are, and um, some of you may love music, or there's something significant about music for you. All right, so how does Cancer feel about this person? they may not be sure where you live. I don't know. I just keep getting something about the home. It may be unclear where you live. But they think about it like they want to know where you live. They might want to do something romantic for you. Alright, so how does Cancer feel about this person? Woo. So certain. So certain. That shot out so quickly. The Emperor. Well, this person's energy is very strong. They're powerful in whatever it is that they do. They may or may not be a boss. They may work for themselves. Well, whatever. But this is the emperor. But here's the thing. They're not extreme. The emperor is not really willing to take other opinions. They're set on their way of life and what they like to do. Okay. Person protects themselves, their heart. 
Seven of Wands. So this is how you view them. Like, it's hard to break down those walls. They could be very duty-focused on what they do. They could care, like, if they have a company or, again, this is a powerful person. So whatever that they're overseeing, whatever they have that emperor energy, that dominance over, they're very focused on it. They're, 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 they want to stay on top, and they're determined to do so. How else does Cancer feel? Anything else? Too many here. One more card for Cancer's feelings for this person. You know, for some of you, you don't want, you do not want to let this person go. You do not want, or you won't when you interact with them. Eight of Cups, but it flipped in the reverse. It's very intentional because I read reversals as I sense them, but when they're intentional, it was like shipping. Nope. You don't want to walk away from them. You won't want to walk away from them. I don't know if you have, but if you have, you will come back. Okay. Or you, you know, or you want to, to because the Ten of Cups. The Emperor, a lot of you see this person as somebody, like a counterpart, somebody that's very strong, that you want to be with, that you want to, you know, have that happiness with. A lot of you may, Seven of Wands, be willing to fight for that or stand up for that or defend this Emperor because that is your Emperor. That's how you feel. You don't want to walk away. You don't. You, you very, you know, there's, there's this like, this person is, has this sense of duty to them. And again, you know, they're not very, they care a lot about, this is, this is a nice, worth the wait, Cancer. I mean, this is nice. They care a lot about you. You, you know, you could, you feel a little bit more stressed, but all in all, you do see happiness with this person. You do want happiness with this person. But you may feel like, you know, I don't know, that there's competition here or something because the energy is a little bit stressful for you, but you don't want to walk away from this. You do not. You do not. So, all right. Well, you know what? That's what I have, and we have finished. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.